are starting with cross region VPC pairing. So this feature was not available earlier. So I'll go to your VPC. We'll click on create VPC, the first VPC which we are creating into US West Oregon. So suppose we are assigning a range. This is the range. And I will click on, oh sorry, I need to specify the name of the VPC. Let's suppose we are specifying Oregon VPC. And I will just specify 10.0.0.0 slash 16. And I'll click on yes, create. Click on route, 
added add another route zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero. We are going to the internet gateway, right? ready the subnet is also having public IP addresses enabled no it's not enabled you have to enable it we need to go to subnet associations modify other signing public IP yes enable so if I will create two instances and these two subnets they will not be able to talk to each other right so we'll go and create two instances I'll go to EC2 instances creating Amazon Linux configure instance details this time I'm using my Ohio VPC there is only one subnet which is available add storage add tags <coughs> name Ohio instance which we want that it will talk to the instances in Oregon region so port number 22 and we also need to enable ICMP all ICMP we need to specify this we'll go to Debian launch go to launch so the key path 50 December key we'll click on launch now in the meanwhile we'll go to Oregon and we'll create one instance in Oregon. <coughs> yes, suppose I would like to choose Amazon Linux on CPU and GP RAM, configure instance details. I need to choose my Oregon VPC. There is only one subnet at storage and tag. This time I'm assigning a tag which is known as Oregon instance. Configure security group. Add rule. This time we will be adding ICMP this. 0.0.0.0 slash 0. Go to review and launch. Click on launch. Let's suppose 17 December is the key pad. Launch instance. <coughs> we'll take the remote of both these instances and we'll type ping. So initially these will not be pinging, but once you will set up cross region pairing, they will start talking to each other. So it's pending. It's running. We'll take its remote. We'll take its public IP. Right click, copy, go ahead. Go to putty.exe, paste it here. Go to SSH, go to authentication, go to browse, and the post there. 17 December PP table there. Open. Open EC2 dash user. We have typed it. <coughs> EC2 dash user. We have logged in. Our private IP is 10.0.10.19. And take the remote of the other instance also into the Ohio region. That instance is also ready. It must be ready by now.
It's remote. Go to copy, paste it there. Go to SSH, go to authentication, go to balls. We'll take this time 15 December, e.bpk. Click on open. EC2-user. If I will try to ping that instance, <coughs> the other instance which we are having, so that is 10.0. Let's suppose I will open this here. If I will try to ping this, ping 10.0.10.19, Allah will ping C. And if I will try to ping this instance, private IP 172, um, 16. Then one forty. Now we will talk to them, right? So we have to set VPC pairing. <coughs> so we are in Ohio. We will go to the VPC section. So we will go to the VPC. We will go to pairing connection. Connections create pairing connection, pairing connection name Ohio to Oregon, who is VPC requester? Ohio VPC is the VPC requester. Who is VPC acceptor? It's into another region. दूसरे रीजन में है कौन से रीजन में है दैट वी हैव टू सी इट इज दैर इन टू ऑरगन विच इज यूएस वेस्ट टू ऑप्शन नाउ यू हैव टू टाइ द बीपीसी आई डी ऑफ द बीपीसी एक्सेप्टर सो आई विल गो टू ऑरगन I will take the ID of that particular VPC. I will go to VPC. Here VPC. And we will go to Oregon VPC. Because we have created and this is the VPC ID. I will take this. I will copy this. I will paste it into the other side where we are creating connection, paste it, create pairing connection, connection created, I need to go to Oregon, I need to accept the request by going to the pairing connection, there must be a request, we got a request, we have to accept it, accept request, we will accept it, connection is ready. Connection has been established. What you need to do now is you need to go to the route table, and after going to the route table, you need to add a route. What route you'll be adding? You'll be adding a route which says add another route, and this time you want to connect to 172.16.0.0/16 slash to the which one? ECX, which is our connection right now I will go to uh, I was in Oregon now I'm going to Ohio Ohio so I will do the same thing I will go to the route table and I will go here I will go to routes I will click on add it click on add another route <coughs> and this time we will specify 10.0.0.0 slash 16 will be connected to the BCX. So we are enabling routing. So it's enabled and now we will 
can see that we can see they have started talking to each other. So that is what we wanted. See, they are both talking to each other, right? 